Got my camper back on. It's not bolted to the chassis, just sitting on there. I got the extendo tongue on there. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to put anything on here. Just got it welded up so I can move it. It's probably, what, another four foot of, uh, I could probably put a basket or something like that in between there. Got an old cheap Harbor Freight, uh, $12, one and seven eighths hitch. Slightly welded on there. It's not the prettiest, but it holds. So, uh... I don't know if I'm gonna put a crossbar back in the front of here. It's kind of big space here. I gotta close off the holes. I didn't do that earlier. Uh, what else did I do? I got I got these partially finished. I got a bunch of crud from sitting over up under that tree there. So all right, so I got some fiberglass bondo which I definitely am no professional with but seems to be holding up fairly well for what it is I haven't had any leaks yet I used uh, I think I used some sheets of something I had here <laughs> kind of like those platforms that I got way over there I, that was originally the bed platform. I may end up cutting them out sometime or another. But I have some spare ones. To show you on the inside. My uh, DIY slash dog leash door holder. Alright, so I got one of my fenders completely took it out. Got a hitch there sort of I gotta cut it maybe too long but rather have it too long and too short there is a different view of these in the back there and there I took the roof fence out and I got see here you're gonna focus I got two holes where my fenders are at think I'm gonna go flat instead of having them big humps and wasted space there I don't think my the tires are ever gonna have that much weight so they can compress that far even some of the trails that we bump on like I said I may go up an inch an inch or two above because right now this is a basically where i'm sitting at and i'm not even touching the tire yet so even if i came up an inch i don't think it'll ever come that far up so even if i came across here to that turn the light on or whatever that is that beam here in the fiberglass i may just go all the way flat. I think I'm gonna eliminate this back door and I'm gonna eliminate these windows here. So there's the view of those fiberglass pieces that I put in with the bondo. Held them in with some dry raw screws. So I got that in place. I have to try to mud the rest of it. Um, same thing on this side. I may take this back door completely out, eliminate it, fiberglass to hold back, but I got to get some way to get in here. So I may have to wait on that. I may end up putting the bed platform in the back and then do something in the front. So that's basically what's been going on here. Figure give you an update. I still got all this liquid nail and foam still in. Not sure how the hell I'm going to get this out of here, but... I guess I gotta get all these extra pieces of wood that I put in that's really not stuck. I think I tried to glue it with liquid nail and that fell. So I may end up having to do some fiberglass resin or something like that. So just keeping you up the square drop uh, update. So thank you for watching.